she has really soft bones. She broke her hip, she broke her leg. She breaks bones really easily. We're getting ready to go. You wanna go? No, I have to work on my sermon. Oh, okay. You wanna help us get the van opened up? I can, sure. You can help us open the van. I'll film you doing it. <laughs> we'll get the backpack. I love you. Thanks for putting up with me and my honoriness. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get this shot. There we go. Ready, Raylan? Ready for some B-roll footage? I have our messy house in the frame. Keeping it real. Down we go! Here's your B-roll. a lot of traffic. You can play with the otoscope, Raylan. Is that what the ear thing is called? I'm gonna play with that and get in trouble when they come in. Please do not allow children to play with medical equipment. Mommy's not a child. So this is to explain Raylan's appointment with endocrinology. Uh, endocrinologists deal with things relating to your hormones. So um, she started through puberty early and then actually I think at age four we put her on hormones to actually speed that process up a little bit more. And we did it for a couple of reasons. The main thing was she has really soft bones and especially back then she had really soft bones. She broke her hip just from the they took metal out of her hip they tried to fix her hip they put metal in they took the metal out when they took the metal out her hip rebroke which they, that was not expected it was because her bones were so soft and then another time she was having a seizure and she flailed her leg out and broke it she broke her leg at a doctor's appointment one time when they were either checking range of motion or holding her leg still to do Botox shots. Your leg has to be really still. We're not sure which one, but just a hairline fracture. They didn't even realize, we didn't even realize that it was broken until like the next day. You could tell it was kind of hurting her, so we got an x-ray. But she breaks bones really easily. Well, when you go through puberty, your bones get stronger and they continue to get stronger as your bones age. So by putting her on hormones, we were speeding up her bones getting stronger so we don't have any breaks. Now, the reason why people don't do that, or one of many reasons why people don't do that, is because it stunts your growth. But for Raylan, since she's not ambulatory, since she relies on people to lift her and carry her around, a shorter stature is okay. It's not a negative thing. If anything, it makes it easier for people to lift her more comfortably for her. So she's been on hormones and following this endocrine doctor since then. So this was a follow-up appointment, and she's pretty much through puberty. She stays on an estrogen patch just because it is good for her bone health. Um, and then they do periodic bone age tests. And what it is is they just x-ray your hand, and you have growth plates in your hand. And when you're little, the growth plates almost look like separate little bones. I'm not exactly sure how that works. But he got out a book and he showed us pictures of hands at different ages and he went through. And if you get to age 14, those growth plates are pretty well closed up and formed. And that's where her, her bone age is. It's about 14 years old. That was a year ago when they took it. And he's like, I'm happy with it. I don't think we need to do another bone age test unless you guys want to. And we're like, no, we don't want to do anything that's not necessary. But he is going to do another DEXA scan and DEXA stands for, thank you, because I didn't know. Uh, basically, it is a bone density test, and it's it looks like an x-ray they take. And um, when they take that, they can see how dense your bones are. Usually, I think they do that with your spine, but Raylan obviously has a lot of metal in her spine. So she gets her bone density test based on her femur and I think her forearm bone they check. So they're gonna schedule another 
excuse me, they're going to schedule another one of those tests for her soon. And we'll go get another DEXA scan. It's real quick and easy. It doesn't hurt. It just, it's kind of like getting an x-ray. takes a little longer than getting an x-ray, but it's basically like getting an x-ray. He did tell us her bone density, you get a rating. I want to say it's a Z score, but it might not be. Um, and I want to say he said you want between negative two and positive two. She's, she doesn't quite have normal bone density in her forearm when they tested that. But um, her bones have gotten denser. They, they have gone up, you know, as you age, your bones get denser. As she's gone through puberty, her bones have gotten denser. She's still a little below average. And so even with the patch that she's on, uh, she was officially diagnosed with osteoporosis, I think sometime in this last year or so. I think officially osteoporosis is a disease that affects your bone health. Um, so I'm not sure how she got that diagnosis now rather than before. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand everything. <laughs> but that being said, the, the patch does help strengthen her bones, so that's a good thing. I'm curious if anybody else is struggling with the same thing. Maybe you or your child has the same kind of thing going on. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm curious how common that is. Uh, it made sense for Raylan. I'm sure it doesn't make sense for everyone in her situation. So let me know. And also while you're in the comments, uh, respond to each other too. I think it's really cool how we have this community in which we have so many people who are struggling with the same kinds of things and we can support each other. So I hope that you do that. And know that whatever you're going through, there's always hope, there's always joy. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. <laughs> this is your very last chance, and I'm, I mean it this time. <laughs> this is your very last chance to get a t-shirt with... Um, this design on it. Um, I have a couple other design ideas for t-shirts and after this video, before the next video comes out, <laughs> uh, I'm going to replace this design with the next design. So if you want this design for a t-shirt, this is your last chance. Get it now because um, it's going away forever. Hey Amber, I was just talking about this t-shirt. This is the t-shirt. This is the t-shirt. Last chance to get this t-shirt. It is really? Yeah, this is it. After this video, I'm taking away this design forever, so. So I'm special. Yeah. <laughs> if you'll look below the video, you can find the links to find those t-shirts. All right, that's it. <laughs> God bless you guys. We'll see you again next time.